Hello everybody and welcome to another Jarison Time informational video. In the following video we will be looking at how to create a report using the report creator. The report creator is used to create or edit reports as per your requirements. Once we've logged into Jarison Time we'll go through to the menu bar then click on setup then report creator and a new window will appear. In this new window on the left hand side we will see all of the reports that are already created within Jarison Time. The first thing we're going to do to create our report is click the add button at the bottom left. Then for this example, we will be creating a report with an in and out clocking as well as date column and employee information. Next step will be is giving a name and a title to the actual report. So in my case, I'm just going to call this employee report. And from there, we have now given it a name and a title. So next step here is looking at what type of report we would want. Here we see we have various options. We hover over our options here. We will see a little pop up it does display telling us a bit more about it. Now, in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change mine to a daily report. After that, we'll then head through to the layout option on the right here, saying if we want a portrait or landscape. Next is our information bar, which allows us to show optional information on the reports. So in my case, I'm going to say I want the date at the top of the page and I want a page number at the bottom of the page. Once done with that, I am then happy with the settings on our first tab here, which is then our general. Then going to through to the next one would be details. In the details tab is where we configure columns for the report. So for us to be able to add a column, we're going to go to the bottom of the screen to click on the add item button. And then we're going to see we have now our first column displaying at the top. Once selected, we can use the item details option at the bottom here to fill in all of the necessary information that we want to. So from the field select to the format, to the alignment of the field, the length, as well as the caption, and then keeping in mind that the caption is the column header. Now in this case, I'm happy with this being a name. I'm gonna leave it then as a text field, left aligned, we just need to give it some space. So in my case, I'm going to say this is, um, it's a length of 10. We're then going to go to name. We're going to leave the caption. After that, looking at the other options, it is important to remember to set at least one print trigger for each report. And every report must be set with at least one trigger. If the trigger column has a value, then the report will generate an entry. Now, in my case, I'm going to put it onto my name column here, meaning that the column will always trigger because the software requires everyone to have a name. We're then going to click add once more. And then you're going to click on the drop down and search for our next option. I'm going to make that surname. Once surname is there, we can see we have text again, left aligned. I'm going to make the length once again 10. Leave it as surname. We click add item button again. From here, what we're going to do is scroll on our list. As we see, it's quite an extensive list of all of the type of information that we can actually add to a report. Now, for this, I'm going to then say this is a date. Now, format, I'm then going to change to say we want to see this in the day month. Once done, looking at length, we see that length is automatically applied for us, seeing that we have selected a different format, and then we have the date caption. After that, I'm going to click on add item again. I'm going to then on my drop down scroll to the top, I'm going to select first in. Last option here, I'm going to scroll to the top and say last out. Now, with both of these fields, we'll see that we also need to remember these will be first in and last out clockings. So we need to make sure that what format is correct for the type of field that we want to display. In my case, what I want to then look at is hours, minutes, seconds, and time. And I'm going to change my out to exactly the same thing. There we have it. The length is all applied. We have our trigger point. We have all of our columns. Now we can move on to the next tab, which is totals. Once on the total screen here, we will see there are various amounts of options for us to look at. The two most common options that we use here is either the total options, which is then allowing us to generate different types of totals per our report, or using our sort order and subtotals, allowing us to order according to which option we have selected, and also subtotal it should we want to. Once we are done and we've set up everything we want to, we can now click on the save button. Now that we have completed the creation of this report, let's go and generate our newly created report to see how it looks. So let's click on the close button and then go to the reports icon. And from here, we can then generate our report. So first of all, we'll do is we'll find it on the list. We'll see mine's already selected here as employee report. We then make sure on which date or date range do we want to take a look at. I'm going to leave mine onto last period. 
and for this example i'm going to then click on preview so there the system is loaded showing me all of the details name surname date in clocking out clocking that will be all for the video thank you for watching and goodbye